Let's start off with oh Danny Mullen and the Florida Gators. Number sits at nine for their win total. To go over is minus 125. To go under is minus 105. So the way that those work, the bigger number, they think it is much more likely that they will go over as opposed to under, which is kind of surprising to me. I think nine is the number. Yeah, I was like, say, I think it's right a on. Good number. So I was hoping for a half here somewhere. But, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. They went eight and four last year, which is just bananas because they finally won the East. They had all these things going in the right direction, and they put up a worse record last year than they did over the last two seasons before that. So they went 11 and two in 2019, eight and four last year, but actually won, you know, their division. Um, I don't, I don't think you can take anything away from the bowl game that they did last year. I no. mean, it was just a disaster. Uh, Emory Jones brings a true dual threat option at quarterback. This is Dan this Mullen is, style quarterback. Yes. This, this is, is Pat, Dak Prescott. Yeah, Dak this Prescott. Is this is this Tim is Tebow. Tebow. This is, you know, yep. uh, everything. Like, this is exactly what he does, and he's so good at it. Uh, the offensive skill weapons, like, we're not going to know a bunch of them, but you they will. still got dudes. Yeah, like, you'll know them. Fine. Uh, I mean, the, the entire offense is going to look different, but. I trust that side of the ball. That's right. Like we're not going to have a problem there. Secondary, they did not click last year for defense coordinator Todd Grantham, and man, like he's his attacking aggressive defense has to have that secondary click. Yeah. Like, and yeah, they, they just didn't bur- do it. They last got year. burned. Yeah, they got burned last year a lot. And they, I mean, they lost games where they scored thirty eight points, forty six points. I mean, it just no reason to be losing games like that. But alas, I think Grantham has done enough with Dan Mullen at Florida and Mississippi State. Everywhere that he's been, I think he's allowed a mulligan season. I don't think last year was a telltale sign of what's going to happen in the future. I think they got hosses again this year. Defensive line was thin, but, you know, they've got talent. They brought in more guys. Like, I I think this is going to be... I think this is going to be a good team. Like, I think they're going to surprise some people. I I cannot get them to 10 wins. I just... There's... I think some of these toss-up games... Feel like they're gonna win one and lose one, right? Okay. So I, I've got them at nine and three, but I, I like the juice on the under, so I'm gonna take the under nine. But I, I am questioning myself. Yeah, I'm so, going over nine because I think nine's are floor. I think this. Team, I don't think this team's losing four games. I I do wonder about Emory Jones and his ability to to throw the ball, like because while while we think that he's like the perfect prototype quarterback for Dan Mullen. You know, I'm not worried about that at all. Have you I mean, seen might some be crazy. Of the quarterbacks that Dan Mullen made really good? Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Who Nick, I mean, Nick Fitzgerald. Who, like I was just about to say, who's this kid? State, Mississippi State Mid- that could not pass yeah. the ball. <laughs> that guy, Joe Moore. That guy might not be the best quarterback in the room if he walked in this room. All right, and he was like the number one quarterback in the SEC the year before Moorhead got there. Yeah, no, Dan's. Dan's ability to make anybody great at quarterback. When I have arguments with people about Dan Mullins should be considered a far better coach than people give him credit for. He's goofy and he's unlikable. You can't be weird and unlikable. But the reason he keeps jobs for a long time is because he's really good at them. Yes, he wins. He just knows how to win. Uh, If you think that they're going to win the division, by the way, plus 300. Yeah, I know. And I like that, by the way. I've I've got a... Take it on that already. To win the conference, plus 1,200. Yeah. So, there you go. The- Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.